Hello there guys, what is going on? Son of Chelsea back here again for another edition of Let's Talk Chelsea. Basically in this show, I take uh, news stories from the week regarding Chelsea and discuss them here with you guys. And really there's no other place to start other than last night's game, which was the first pre-season friendly under Frank Lampard in Ireland against Bohemians, ending 1-1. Mitchy Batshuayi scored in the first half. And the trialist of Bohemians uh, put in a lovely finish on the 89th minute. So it did finish 1-1. And I have to say, I think reaction to it um, as ever with Twitter, you know, I wasn't actually able to watch the game last night. Um, I was training with uh, Louis' team, Louis Benavente's team, Imperial Wolf. So I came out, looked on Twitter, and of course the reaction was so overblown. And then I watched the highlights this morning and, you know, it looked like the standard preseason game, especially one of the early preseason games. Um, you know, the, the squad themselves have only been together, I think, six days. And that squad itself uh, is full of young players. It's full of fringe players, players who have been away on loan, who haven't played barely any football for Chelsea. Um, you know, the big crop of first team players have only just come back and we're going to have to wait till Saturday to see them. But I was impressed. Uh, Batshuayi scoring his goal, you know, standard Batshuayi goal, you know, the goal he, you know, he's made a career out of scoring. And I think for his confidence, I feel like this is going to be a big preseason for him. Um, so to see him score was massive. I think uh, Conor Gallagher, Chelsea's, I think, Academy Player of the Year. Um, lots spoken about this kid, and I actually think you know he done well. He made a few uh, runs into the box. Unfortunately, he didn't, he didn't get a proper shot away on one of them. I think, um, but you know he worked hard, and I feel that he's one of those players that, that could find his way to get more opportunities with Lampard. But I feel that was a good night for him as well. Uh, Danny Drinkwater is what I think about fringe players. Um, I'm not so sure on Danny Drinkwater how he would fit into Chelsea's midfield, but. I think it was a decent night for him. Um, Billy Gilmore in the second half uh, was so close to scoring himself. Um, lovely little movement on the edge of the box, and unfortunately, it was it was saved. Um, so I think he done himself justice, and also Matson uh, in defence. I think had a really good showing um, as well. So there were some positives there, and all it's about is fitness. You know, Lampard expressed this in the post match uh, interview he did with Chelsea TV, where he basically just said, you know, you, you've got to put in comparison as well. Bohemians already into their competitive of season this is our first game of preseason you know first games of preseason are never it, rarely are they a breeze um last season if you remember we played sydney and that was a similar tie really scored early in the first half and as the game drew on uh, sydney could have got back into that game um and of course with changes uh, to players and stuff you know there's always that that um lack of chemistry and also just, you know, people getting back to, to playing football again, and especially this this team, this crop of players who've never played with each other before, especially in pre-season when you're chopping and changing, you're putting players um, who are coming from different situations, academy players, first team players, fringe players, you know, players that are coming back on loan. It's always going to be a mishmash, especially in the first game. And uh, it was interesting seeing Lampard's Play a 4 2 3 1, whether that's the formation he goes with um, is going to be interesting to see. Very early to tell, um, especially with a lot of the bigger players, of course, not uh, featuring at all really in this game, other than the likes of uh, Aspil Equator and um, Pedro. You know, but as soon as those first team players do come back into the squad, we'll, we'll have a clearer idea, won't we? Um, but yeah, it was a, it was good to see Chelsea back um, for pre-season. And of course, we don't have long to wait now, now to the next game against St. Patrick's at the weekend. And as Lampard expressed himself, we are going to see some of those first team players who've just arrived in that game. So overall, once again, overblown reaction. But uh, it was good to see and uh, we get uh, pre-season off and running. The next story was one that we anticipated but was finally announced by the club at the weekend. Loftus Cheek has signed a new five year deal that's keeping him at the club till 2024. Um, he already had two more years left on his current deal, um, but it's great to see Chelsea uh, get this deal done, especially with the announcement of Frank Lampard happening a few days before this announcement itself. Um, I love that. I, I think that Ruben, uh, unfortunately, with his injury, is going to, of course, delay his se season a little bit, but. He's going to be a massive player for Chelsea, especially if he continues and just gets right back to what he was doing under Sarri at the, the back end of last season. Um, he's quickly becoming Chelsea's uh, one of Chelsea's most important players, I think, uh, in terms of his performances. You know, he I thought his development last season with injuries, with being in and out of the team. You know, what I loved about Loftus-Cheek as well was his physicality and his uh, also game awareness to be able to draw fouls and win fouls you know um in tight situations i think you know his performances at both uh 
Anfield and Old Trafford, I think really proved that and proved how quality of a player he is. And I think he's going to be absolutely massive uh, for Chelsea. And I do believe he's going to be massively in Lampard's uh, plans for the season, even with this injury. So it's a big deal. Um, and my hope is he now, under a manager like Lampard, can really thrive. And, and this can be his proper, proper breakthrough season where he's a first team player once he gets back to full fitness. So great news there. And the last story today is a departure. Uh, quite funny that the club, when announcing this, uh, was uh, referencing it on Twitter as more good news. This was after the Loftus-Cheek deal was announced. And a few hours later, they announced that Avaro Morata... Um, is uh, leaving the club. He has gone for about 50 million, it, it's believed, to Atletico Madrid, where he spent uh, last season on loan, uh, the second half of last season on loan. Um, 24 goals in 72 appearances uh, after signing in from Real Madrid in uh, 2017. Listen, I think this was a deal that was was always likely to happen, and we, we all expected it to happen. Um, I think, I, I do feel slightly sorry for Morata in the sense that, you know, there was a lot of... Uh, permutations and you always have to think about circumstances surrounding a player's time at a club um but i think some responsibility on him considering his age and considering who he's played for you know i think Morata himself didn't do himself much justice in um some of his performances some of his uh work rate some of you know stuff like you know standing offside the petulant attitude when he'd come off the bench for instance and he'd get himself a yellow within two minutes uh kicking the ball away you know it just didn't really uh, looked to me like he wanted and was up for the fight uh, of being in Premier League football. And the annoying thing is he started so well at Chelsea. He looked like the replacement. He looked like when he when he started under Conte, scored a bunch of goals. I think he was up to 12 goals by Christmas. And I think um, despite maybe a few concerns from people, I generally thought, you know, this is a good player. We've, we've finally, it's not going to be like another Torres situation. Um, he scored a major goal against Manchester United, which is probably his best goal for Chelsea in truth. Um, and yeah, it just went downhill, didn't it? I remember the Arsenal game and that really, really went downhill from there. His confidence was shattered um, and it just never looked like the same player again. And this is a, a thing with Chelsea. We, we need to sort out the striker problem, whether it is going to be Michy Batshuayi who can take a hold of, of that position now, or it's a Tammy Abraham, or we're going to have to wait till once we get back to making transfers. Striker is massive position for Chelsea um, and, and making sure the next striker is the right one. Um, Morata just never really felt like a Chelsea striker, did he? And there is a certain profile to being a Chelsea striker, whether it's logical or not, of more physical, um, more aggressive. Morata just didn't have those attributes, unfortunately, uh, to cope with Premier League football and to cope with what is uh, being a Chelsea striker. So wish him the best, um, even though I think some of his comments um, weren't, the most professional and were quite disrespectful to Chelsea fans, I have to say. Um, but I hope he does well at Atletico Madrid and unfortunately it just never worked out. He did score some good goals, but for Chelsea business-wise, uh, Marina's done it again, you know, 50 million apparently, or at least recouping nearly all of the money that we spent on him. I think he's a fantastic deal and there's really no club in, in world football is there better at recouping money um, from players um, than I think Chelsea because uh, this is a banging deal considering uh, the, the form of Morata and uh, what we got out of Atletico to pay for him. So both Costa and Morata, we've got decent money out of two situations we needed to, to sort out. So I think it's a good deal for Chelsea. So that is it, guys, for this edition of Let's Talk Chelsea. Sorry there's not like a full review of Bohemians, but as I say, I didn't watch the game and I only got to see extended highlights. So I didn't really want to come on here and talk about a game I wasn't able to see the full 90 minutes of, um, but I will on Saturday be able to see that game. So I will give you a proper review of that game. Um, but yeah, let me know your opinions on uh, all the stories we touched on today. Uh, the preseason friendly, your thoughts on it. Um, lots of Sheik's new deal and of course Morata leaving. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter at Son of Chelsea to continue the discussion and I'll see you again. Mm -hmm.